What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and I just wanted to show everyone what Goat Simulator looks like on an NVIDIA surround setup. Right now, I have three 24-inch ASUS monitors, all running at 1080p, which gives me a combined resolution of 5760 by 1080 but I have a uh, little bit of added resolution for bezel correction so that the black bars between the monitor edges kind of fit into the whole resolution and they're accounted for. Now as you can see, those signs say no penis shaped foods, so these people are having a pretty serious protest against that right now. But I really like hot dogs and, you know, carrots and stuff, so like, you know, I'm gonna break up their rally, I'm not a fan of that. Anywho, uh, now we're gonna go look for some cars to blow up. I was hoping I could get a car to kind of, you know, shoot me across the map upon explosion and everything. However, I don't get any really good explosions. Sometimes when you headbutt a car, it sends you, you know, way up into the sky where everything becomes tiny and everything. That unfortunately didn't happen. I think that uh, semi-truck would have blown me pretty far if I didn't immediately hit this wall and kind of get stuck in that. But all these cars, if you headbutt them, they're going to blow up. Not moving cars, just stationary cars. It'd be really cool if you could blow up moving cars. That's something that uh, I think someone should add. And speaking of that, uh, this game does have Steam Workshop, you know, functionality and everything. So there will be mods out for this game. The developers intentionally left it, you know, open for that kind of thing and everything. So it should have some pretty cool community-driven content here before too long. Because I think people are pretty excited for this game. I know I was. And so it'll be really cool when there's some, you know, different content that you can, you know, try or add to your game if you choose to. Or not. You know, that's just kind of the cool stuff about optional content. Now we got up here to this combine. And you can see the entire combine blade across all three screens. Something you definitely can't do with one screen, obviously. So that's pretty cool. And one of the advantages to having, you know, an ultra-wide screen set up like this. I licked the particular combine blade so that I would just get spit in and out a few times. I thought that'd be kind of funny. And you can just kind of explore around up here. There's obviously another car you can headbutt. And yeah, so I thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed knowing that the game can run at uh, three screen mode or surround mode. I had asked this question before the game came out and never really got an answer from anybody. They all just kind of laughed at it or upvoted it or whatever. No one really answered my question, unfortunately. But, you know, testing proves that it is possible. So again, I thank you guys very much for watching. Please take the time to subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.